Hey guys, welcome back to Louie Dustin Vlogs and in today's video guys, we're heading, I think it's for the third round of the mini bike champs this weekend at Kettering um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video we're going to be heading to Kettering for the third round of the mini bike champs James is going to be riding, so is Joe Ellis but they're going to be getting there Saturday evening because um, James' bike is actually not ready and it is Friday so they're going to be working on it tomorrow and then come up tomorrow night and um, before this vlog starts, I would like to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Miniature Parts for letting me borrow their bike for this weekend. Yes, I'm not going to be riding my Bushy F15, I'm going to be riding for Miniature Parts this weekend. So I'm very excited to be racing for them. If you do want to head down to them, they do all mini bike parts, mini motos, super motos, they do everything. So make sure you head down to the description right now and check out their website for any mini bike stuff. So yeah, can't wait for ride. Can't wait to ride for them this weekend. Before this vlog starts, um, look at this. Ah, oh, right. So hello, uh, future Lou. I think it is. Um, so yeah, basically gonna head off to get a new GoPro because the other week I had actually left it on top of the van when I went practicing with Elliot, and um, it fell off down the motorway. So. I've lost that. I actually lost my GoPro, so now we're gonna head off, go to Kari's, and I'm gonna have to buy a new GoPro for this weekend, so, yes. Ah, oh, there they are. Here's the new GoPros. Oh, you can see it. New GoPro. So yeah, just got the brand new GoPro Hero 7 Black. Um, for a battery as well because they do go flat quite fast but um, they didn't actually have any SD cards so I need to go um I think maybe Argos see if they've got any so yes so made it to Argos well Saints Breeze I'm gonna check if they've got um, an SD card in here got the six got the 64 SD card the micro SD card for the GoPro just unboxing the brand new GoPro at the moment oh very nice so yeah, just got back home, the GoPro is all set up and ready to film for this weekend. Just need to head upstairs and put it on charge. Let's head back to Future Louis. So yes guys, I did splash out my money. I did get a brand new GoPro Hero 7 to film for the vlog this weekend. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be an awesome vlog. But before we actually go, um, I need to actually uh, tidy up, not tidy up, put uh, my kit that was dirty into my kit bag because there's only one set of kit in there because I did actually forget to wash it the other day so we did wash it last night and hopefully it's all dry here's the kit let's put it in the kit bag gotta put it in to my 24 24mx kit bag hopefully it's gonna be a lot more consistent for me this weekend and be able to get a consistent result yeah at the moment just putting the goggles into my bag then um, we need to wait for Alex to come back home then we can head off so that'll be in a couple of hours so Alright, so I'll see you then. We're just about to leave now. Um, got everything packed up. Heading downstairs. It's been a couple, it's been quite a long time actually. So yeah, it's uh, half five or six. Heading now. It's about a two hour journey, so not that long. So yeah, let's get in the van. You can't come, you're coming tomorrow. No. So we have just got to the track. Uh, the track looks in alright condition. Looks very nice and tacky. But hopefully it doesn't actually dry out for tomorrow morning. But um, as it's just got here, Alex has got his drone. So yeah, let's, um, let, let's get some track footage. Just
we just we've just finished walking the track. Sorry, the track edit wasn't too long, but it's the same track again, so wasn't much point of filming loads of it. So yeah, um, we're gonna head down to Phil's diner and uh, get ourselves some burger and chips, maybe see what he's got down there. Hey. Uh, mayonnaise, big chili, hot chili. Is that mayonnaise. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Fred. No. So, just finished my um, Donna meat. Oh, I thought someone was there. So, yeah, just finished my Donna meat and chips. Um, so, yeah, that's done. Uh, not much else to do tonight, really. Um, uh, got like mainly everything out of the camper. Got the awning set up and stuff, so not much you said do. So, yeah, uh, uh, maybe in the morning, um, early in the morning, I'll head over to Miniature Parts, so go speak to them, have a look at the bike, we'll do an edit of the bike. Talk to the team and that, we'll film over there to show you all of that then, I think qualifying early in the morning, I think it starts about 9 or 10, so, actually no, that's not that early to be honest, so, yeah. I'm not being a pussy, I jumped on rocks, let me do it again, she said it's a sale deep That's so weird. <laughs> Make it more hard! Ugh, this is weird! Where shall I walk? Well, let me try. Move! Uh. <laughs> you moved the bottle. Mom, is it fucking moving in your back? What? <laughs> right, so it's now the morning. Can't remember if I did actually end it last night. Um, but now it's early in the morning. I got dressed literally as soon as I got up. So. Just going to head over to Miniature Parts. Um, I did forget my boots because he wants to um, adjust all the gear levers, uh, brake levers to how I like him on the bike. So, going to head over, get my boots and head back over and adjust all of that so it fits me nice and comfortably. Oh, so small, yeah, there's no stretch, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 there's not. Trent said I got style for you. Hey, see you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one lost, no one's around for you. I won't stop, no, 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 no. I won't stop, I won't stop. I won't stop, no, 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 no. I won't stop, I won't stop. Yeah. I'm so handsome. I'm so handsome. All in Carmine's with my Benz, I'm so fancy. I'm so fancy. Yeah. No romance. No got my baby and she right, she make you vanish. No time to play, got book dates. Had a plan, only had to wait. Always knew I'd make a way. Send a the bill, they send a the pay. Keep it real, keep the record straight. Keep it real, no time to fake. So, uh, I just finished off down at Miniature Parts, it's got a little bike head in, um, I'm loving the bike, it looks so trick, um, still really comfortable sitting on it, um, yeah, Miniature Parts have got all the pit bike stuff and they're actually um, the Bushi imports for the UK, the uh, official Bushi, so I'm going to be riding for Bushi this weekend, so this is very excited, weather's looking amazing, I think they're still, I think they're watering the track, so I do like this track when it's watered. They've ripped the track up as well, so. Yeah, looking nice. So yeah, just signed on and everything. And my number's gonna be 107 because um, 07 wasn't available. Um, it's because 07 was our, one of our good friends, Mickey Bennett, who um, lost his fight against cancer. So yeah, I'm gonna be riding into his number this weekend. So I'm just about to head out now for um, qualifying. Uh, pretty excited. Um, and I've got my new GoPro, so we're going to test this out, see what it looks like, um, hopefully get some cool footage, and I'll see you when I'm back, and I'm, I'll talk about the new bike and stuff, and yeah, very excited to ride it, so I'll see you when I'm back.
Um, after qualifying, um, I'm still just getting used to the bike. I've never, ever, ever ridden a Bushi F15 before, F15R actually. Um, it feels completely different to my bike, but I'm quite liking it. Uh, we're doing a bit, we're doing some changes to the bike, um, just to see how, how it handles differently in the main race. So yeah, apart from the track, apart from the track is so, so dry and so dusty. Um, I think they're gonna need to keep watering it after every block or you won't be able to see where you're going. It's just so dusty and dry out there. But yeah, um, enjoying the bike. It felt really, really good and pretty excited for the weekend. <laughs> So after that, yeah, I'm very, I'm quite happy with my results. Even though I'm still getting used to the bike, um, I got myself I think it was a fifth. So that puts me out for third in Moto too. So very excited. Yeah, I don't really normally moan about the track, but um, yeah, it's not the best. They haven't really done much to the track. Um, there's all still ruts in it from last time, so you just, it's going to get really, really dusty out. So and like, there's all still old ruts from the last time I raced here, so not too good, but. We're just gonna have to get on with it. Yes, sir. We do that. So I think I've just put a new sprocket onto the bike. See what different that does, mate. But um, yeah, I did forget to say James is actually coming today uh, with Joe. Uh, if you don't remember Joe, here's a couple of clips of him, the weirdo. Joe, I think he's actually stuck. Should we he help him down? Not being funny. If you climb up there, you've got to get down, son. Not being funny. Yeah, Joe's coming around about, James and Joe are coming around about three-ish because uh, they're going to be racing in the 110 class. So at the moment, uh, the fun race has actually started. Um, it's just loads of basically all like the uh, traditional pit bikes, 110s, 50s, 88s. They're all just racing around. Some are in like silly costumes. So yeah, let's have a look. Before I head out for my first race of the day, um, we've just got back from watching the fun class. I just filmed a couple of clips of that. But yeah, pretty excited now for the first race. Hopefully, I will be able to do well. I'm aiming to get in the top four, top five, and any best than that, I'll be happy yet yeah, because it is my first time still riding this bike, still trying to get used to it. Don't know want. I do not want to go out there, be all crazy, stupid, and, and crash it because that wouldn't end well. So yeah, just going to go out there, have fun, and get used to the bike. So I'll see you after. There is.
after that race, um, I felt a lot better, just got quite a poor start. But yeah, really enjoyed it. The bike is so, so good. It's such an awesome bike to ride, having so much fun. Yeah, I made it quite hard work going into the first couple of laps, getting stuck behind people and wasn't able to um, make the passes. So, yeah, I think I rode right, getting a lot used to the bike and enjoying it loads. It's getting hotter and hotter. It's getting too hot. Don't like the heat. So, I'm just getting ready now to go out for my second race of the day. Pretty excited. Hopefully, I can do as good as I did in the first race. So, yeah, let's go. After that race, I um, felt a lot better on the bike. Um, I think I got another third, so I think I'm laying third at the moment, so pretty happy with that. Every single race is getting better and better. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable on the bike, changing a lot of parts in it to uh, make it even better. So, just about to head up now for my last race. Um, I'd like to give a massive uh, shout out to Glenn at Miniature Parts. The whole Miniature Parts team for helping me out through the weekend. Hopefully I can do as good as I did my last race. We have changed it a bit, um, so it does work best. I'm pretty excited. Oakley, what do you think? Tracks alright. Roughing enough a bit, so what I like, so pretty happy with that. And yeah, let's head down to Miniature Parts and get the bike and head out for my third race of the day. In that last race, um, I rode really good again. Then I got another third, but I was getting really low and I caught my gear lever on the thing. So that had ripped off. But apart from that, the bike is amazing. It's so fun to ride. Such an awesome bike. And yes, another massive shout out to Miniature Pass for helping me out this weekend. Whew. Let's get undressed, have a wash, then let's head out. Guys, um, we've just finished the day. Had a good day racing. James is here. We're matching. Joe's here. Hello. So yeah, just going to have a look at the results, what, I, um, what my last time was, and how I got on. So yeah, let's go do that. Open up your podium. We've just looked at them, and then um, let's go look at some photos. Yeah, at the moment we've just um, looked at some photos. Now we're doing a track walk. Yeah, today turned out quite good. Hmm. Stop, stop. Am I, am I camera ready, Jay? Yeah, you're ready. Action. Just doing a bit of fiddling. Getting the bikes prepped for tomorrow.
That's spicy. Nubi. Well, I've got about a fair bit of weight to me, so yeah. You're right, you'll hit that case in a minute and mix and smash the cases. No, no. <laughs> so, James, what are you doing this year in the BSB? Well, to be honest, I've been doing a lot of wobbling around <laughs> towards the back. Um, what else have I done? <laughs> Covered 40 miles on the moped each round. <laughs> I did. I've got an MSX. Uh, Grom to ride around the pits. 40 miles in one round. Wow. 40 miles? Yeah. Is that riding around, that's like riding around here. Basically. Wow. You can just ride around the pits on mopeds. Wow. But you just do lap after lap. No, I was just going places, seeing people. Yeah. But that's quite a lot, isn't it? 40 miles. Yeah, 40 miles is a lot. Yeah. Right, so it's now the morning. Um, I didn't actually end it last night, sorry about that. But yeah, um, James got all unloaded, all of his bikes out. I mean, Joe got the 110s, looking very nice. Who are you eating, Joe, before your race? Pops of cocoa. Mm. So, sat in the camper, um, I'm gonna get dressed, so, let's get my kit in three, two, one. Ugh. So, I'm all dressed, all kitted up with my seven kit. Um, before I go out, I'm gonna have some SGUT um, to keep me hydrated, to get me ready to go out for practice. Uh, I think it's only two laps, and I'll have some of this after I come back for my first race. So yeah, um, let's build the bottle up. We just realised we've all got a 24MX bag. There's mine. Um, Joe's one. James is one. Where's Alex? Oh, Alex is, is in the back as well. We've all got a 24MX bag. Um, if you want to do get, if you want to get yourself one, make sure you go down into the description, and the website will be down there. So yeah. So we've just met up uh, with these two. What are your names? Ellis. Ellis. And Bradley. And Bradley. They've got this sick electric bike. Do you know what? Try it. <laughs> we should get one for down at the track. Be mega. So James is getting ready for his fun race. Um, there it is, down at the bottom, on the start gate, getting ready to go. Shock's just collapsed. Yeah. Joe, you're shock. What? You're shock. Yeah. Joe, your shock's collapsed. Yeah. Oh, uh, we just watched James's race. I think he needs to go onto his fast bike. He's riding his um, stock 110 when he's got his fast one. So hopefully he does go out on that in the next race. Alex is out now, so that means I need to head back, um, and back, get changed, then head out for my first race. Pretty excited. Hopefully I'll be able to do well, but. Back now from after that race, um, 
I did alright, I was actually leading at first and we got a terrible, terrible start and for some reason I managed to pull my way um, into first, yeah. You're that big man. You right? You alright? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I did alright in that race. Um, I did actually drop it um, on one of the corners um, due to a back marker, but it is what it is, so yeah. This sort of marked me up that race, um, just finished beating Glen. So yeah, I um, got, I think it was sixth. So, not too happy with that, but I was happy with how I was riding for the first of the race. I was actually leading it, so I'm very happy with that. But we just carry on trying to get good positions and stay consistent. Joe, you had another crash, didn't you? Yeah. Not good, is it? Have yeah. you bent the gear lever? Yeah, but all shocks are good, so we're all good. Oh, um, I need to head out for my race now. So I didn't feel much in between then. Hopefully for the next race, I'll film a bit more. But yeah, if I, I think it's, if I do do well, I've made it into the super final, what, hoping I've done good, so pretty excited for that. And yeah, hopefully just get a nice, consistent uh, result. So, yeah. Like my bike did actually go, um, I'm not too sure what actually happened to it. I was going up to the double, um, here's a clip now. So for the last race, I'll be riding on this one, um, another push F15R, so yeah. Just need to uh, do the suspension then, we'll be ready to go out for the super final, I think. Sata. See, the Sata did go on that bike, so yeah. So yeah, we were just trying to get the bike sorted um, just then. See, it's changing all the suspension and stuff to make it a okay for the super final. I'm not a big, big thing, but it's a completely different bike. Yes, again, never ever ever ridden it before, so it's gonna be a difference for me. And yeah.
in the last one, I do not know where I um, got position wise or what my time was, but I think my time was a bit faster. Yeah, um, sort of blew the bike up, the exhaust fell off. A lot of things were going wrong, but I still managed to uh, ride as good as I could, as I've never ridden the bike before. Had so much fun here at Kettering. So much fun here. Um, we've got presentation very, very soon. Um, not too, I probably didn't get the podium because um, I did get one DNF, so yeah, so. And I'd like to give a like, ridiculous, huge, huge, huge shout out to Miniature Pass for having me out through this weekend. Glenn, Natalie, and everybody. So, yeah. Well, I got some good times. Yeah, you got one Well, um, Didn't manage to get a 17. No. Um, I got 117. Well, it wasn't my fastest, but I think it was my second fastest time. Um, I did get fifth, so I'm not too sure where I did. Uh, and I'm not too sure where I did come overall. Yeah, very happy with my racing this weekend. Felt um, really, really good on the bike. But now it's presentation. Finished presentation. I think I managed to get fifth overall, so pretty happy with that. Happy with my riding. So yeah, just going over to Glen. Go say goodbye and thank you. So I'll see you guys when I get home or if we stop off at service. Right, guys. So it's now the end of today's video. Sorry, this vlog was so so long. Um, it's been a very long vlog, but it was an awesome time there at the mini bike champs. And I'd like to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Miniature Pass yet again for helping me out throughout the weekend. I've had such an awesome time racing their bike and hopefully we may be able to do it again in the future. I've just had such a blast. And guys, remember, keep ripping, keep riding, like, share, subscribe. So yeah.